Hello again, Mission Control. Well, today what we're going to be working on is finishing the crossmember assemblies. Now, we got them all tack welded together, and the only thing I need to finish here today is get them all drilled. So, we got to get the drawings, we got to start marking everything, get the drill press going, get some music cranked up, listen to some rock music while you're sitting there drilling all day. Should be a good time. Let's get started. <clears throat> Three of these crossmembers are all exactly the same. And one of them I already have drilled out. So I'm going to cheat, use my square, mark the center of these, and then go measure the distance from front to back. The reason I'm doing that is because there's more variability in the tape measures and everything that I'm using than just lining these up and getting them straight. At least then, we're probably going to be within a sixteenth of an inch as well as our tolerance goes, and that's going to be better than good enough. I got this one all up here and on the drill press, made myself a little stand back there just so everything can be nice and level. Some of you may not know what I'm saying when I say drawings. I'm not just talking about handwritten drawings or like here's the idea of what we want to do. I'm actually talking about the engineering drawings that I've created using CAD for the entire thing. And um, I've said earlier, maybe you've heard me talk about red lines. Uh, red lines is a general term uh, to describe that somebody is marking up a drawing. In this case, these are blue lines. Uh, that I'm doing because I have a blue pen my red one gave out on me uh, But what we're doing is we're taking the model that was measured and created off of the actual trailer And we're updating it based on measurements uh, that we've retaken and then we're cutting to those measurements And then we're gonna up go through and update all of these drawings when we're all done because we're trying to get to production We're not just doing it as a one-off So these drawings right here They're the most important thing that I can possibly update out of this entire project of course the project has to work but we describe how it works using drawings and the model so that we can send it to other people and they can help us manufacture it. So right now I need to take my measurements off of this, transfer them over here, and then start drilling.
not a bad day's worth of work. We have all six of these uh, cross member assemblies are assembled and fully fabricated. The only thing that's not done on them yet is that we haven't completely welded them. They're only tack welded right now and that's because we're going to go out there and check everything, fit check it, make sure everything is exactly as it should be before we finalize the welds and uh, make it permanent permanent. So. Hey, thanks a lot for following along in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we got all those holes drilled, man. Drilling holes takes forever, but they're all done. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a two thumbs up. Hit subscribe, ring that bell so you can follow everything that we're doing with LifePod 2. And don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. You can also catch up with us on Patreon, where we appreciate all your support. Thanks, everyone, for following along. This is The Real Martian, out.